This match is between um, Corsar and Mew QQ. Match number 12. Okay. On um, Corsar's team. We have um, Elemelta the Wizard. Just a sec, I need to open people's teams so I can see what skills they have. Okay. Elemelta the Wizard, Bloodlust the Paladin. Celestia the Priest, and Son Puncha the Monk. So this wizard has some pretty good, has strength as all elements. We need to charm HP poison and has 14 MA. So I would have gone with 108 gems here if you're going for all the elements. Just because reasons. But um wait, just Moogle Fairy Carbuncle from Summon Magic. And fire two, bolt two, ice two, water two. And that. Now, one of my gems probably would have been better. Unless you're going for some kind of heals with a magic ring. I know charm protection is pretty good, but, um, like, I don't know. I just feel that like 108 gems probably would have been better. And then we got, um, well, yeah. And, well, this was already season caution. Doesn't really have any evasion, though. So it doesn't really do any, doesn't really do anything for this wizard. But, well. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. Um. So yeah. This paladin has blood sword. Genji gaunt, Genji shield. So blood sword and salty rage. That could really back for backfire if um, he's using. If he's against any undead units, which I don't think he is, but um, he is not against any undead units. But like, he might go against an undead unit in the future, and just like you know, watch out for that, right? And of course, the salty rage. He's gonna attack stuff, and he's gonna attack himself. He's gonna heal the enemy hurt himself if he goes up against no dead. Alright, well. Otherwise, he's a perfectly fine unit. Gold helmet, immune darkness is probably the most important part of it. Darkness, rock, sleep. Charm, slow, and dead. Dead death sentence. And we've got, um... He doesn't, he probably doesn't have anything in chivalry. He does not have anything in chivalry. What happens if that salty rage is stolen? Um, yeah. Might start to act a little cowardly if the salty rage is stolen. 
We've got this priest right here. Pilgrimage, reflectoring is a good combo. And magic defense up, just in case. Uh, golden hairpin, obviously. Cure 2, Cure 3, Raise, you see not Holy. So yeah, Golden Hairpin boosts Holy, but um, not really a lot of MA to make use of that. We've got the Monster Dict right here. Yes, it lowers stance, but um, I don't know. For Brave. 40 Brave of the Monster Dict. I don't I don't really know about this unit. Uh well, she she make she'd probably make a very good support unit. Okay. But what does she have with time magic? Hasty slow to sinkhole. Yeah. So she she's supporting with hasty slow too. That's pretty odd. But I mean I mean she's the first one to go, so um these these units are probably gonna walk out of range of the haste too. Man, I, they do have three moves, so I I don't I don't know about that. We'll see. It might actually work out. And we got this um punch here. Chakra band Power Slave Defense Ring. Chakra Band is obviously gives gives you a lot of status protection. Um, uh, power Slave for punchy shenanigans. PA. And then Defense Ring. Probably for the status immunities. Spin Fist, Repeating Fist, Stig Magic, Chakra 5, so Spin Fist is really good. And just all the Monk RSM right there. Pretty nice package deal right there. Pretty good. Yeah. The monk looks solid. Um what in steel? Steel heart, steel weapon, steel accessory. Yeah, steel heart is pretty legit. So yeah. And that's um, Corsar's team. We have a um, wizard for magic y stuff. Caution with no evasion to speak of. Um, Bloodsword Salty Rage Berserker unit. Attack up. So he's constantly healing himself. Constantly, um, doing stuff. And then the priest, there for raises, for time magic, shenanigans. And then the monk for steel heart, punch arts. I'd probably go for the punch arts more than steel heart, but, um, the punch arts. I find that if you're if you're gonna use high brave though, then it's probably better to just use the punch arts because sometimes the art misses, and it might just be better to deal the damage. I don't know. That's just me. Okay. Well, we'll um see how that team works. And so now we have um, Mew's team. Uh, 
have this hasty all the time mage. He's in bot. <laughs> the wizard. Nice name. Gunner the Archer and Holy Geo the Geometer. So this time mage is Crystal Shield, Wizard Mantle. We got a nice combo there. Nice nice evasion combo. Projectile guard. So she's got 10 speed, defense up. For the tankiness, move MP up, recover MP. What kind of time magic does she have? Haste, slow, comet. From what magic she has? Cure 3, race 2. I'm not surprised. Um, this combo is pretty good. Time Madge White Time Time Madge White Magic. And we have Yeah, Projectile Guard. <clears throat> projectile Guard is gonna be pretty big because there's a lot of spell gunners out there. So now um Yeah, triangle hat, immune innocent. Now this time it's just pretty good. I think. Um, and then the wizard here for uh, prismatic rod. She's got abandoned with the leather mantle, which is pretty good. I think. Is she going for drawouts mostly? Does she have anything from black magic? She has dark holy. Dark Holy is pretty good. Um, from Draw Out, she has probably Bees and Boat. Uh, Bees and Boat Mirasame. So Dark and Holy damage. I do not know why the gold hair, golden hairpin is not on this unit. <laughs> because that would be very nice. Wait, no, Prismatic Rod boosts both of those. So never mind. I was just thinking about how overused golden hairpin is at the moment. Um, move plus one is pretty good. I, I would have gone for teleport though, cause because the drawouts teleport is really good with draw apparently. Um, and then we got um. This um, gunner. Spe obviously, spell gunner. Overwhelm with the magic gun. You want to wait, gems. Gonna boost this damage. Pilgrimage. Gonna boost the damage further. Pilgrimage plus piety. Now, see, piety sets her faith to 100, and pilgrimage get just gets there. Um. One or the other is probably better, because, like, you're not gonna get, um... Because they both do the same thing, pretty much. This is the one triggers on counter grasp, and the other is just passive. Pilgrimage is probably better for this unit, just, you know. Okay, well, white magic archer, you don't see that every day. Cure for raise to regen Yasuna. Now, one thing about this archer is that she doesn't have any way to recover MP. So, and she's using like raise too. She's not going to be able to um, recover that MP. Yeah. She's, she's going to be. Uh, She's gonna run out of MP pretty quickly. Just, you know, keep that in mind. Um, I didn't check to see what she has for Snipe. See, I will execute. So yeah, at least, she does, yeah, at least she'll have Snipe when she, um, get, when she runs out of MP. 
And then we have um, this Geomancer here. And she just has Carve Model. She just has Carve Model. She just has Carve Model. What white magic? Cure for raise regen Isuna Dia Holy. I'm a little bit iffy about having Dia and Holy at the same time. I don't know. Oh, the magic ring and the reflect ring on these guys are gonna kind of make that holy kind of weird. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so this Geomancer is like a, um, support holy bot kind of unit, looks like. Um, she's got a pilgrimage, she's gonna boost her damage a little bit. Golden hairpin, magic attack up. Yeah. So that means that, um, we're gonna get some pretty interesting stuff happening. I have no idea who's going to win this. This is, this looks very interesting. Okay, let's move on to the match. And for this match, we're going to be going to map 98, Lazalia Castle Gate outside. Good luck to the both of you. As I mentioned, I have no idea who's going to win this. The archer opens up with region. I don't know if the MP region is going to be enough to keep that archer going, though. She's gonna need a couple turns to um, recover her MP after like a good raise to Doesn't matter because the Archer got dropped. Yeah, and already isn't really looking too good for Mew. the race too though. This is basically holy This is basically just a spell war. Sword Paladin doing some work. Paladin breaks the charm. Yeah. Like I said, what's the point of pilgrimage if you've already got piety? This could still go either way. Oh, raise 
two misses. That sucks. Oh no. Blaze gun drops priest. There's a raise too. Oh, ref oh my god, reflected thingy. I don't remember what that was. It's some kind of fiery thingy. Wizard guards. There's a raise too. So I think things aren't really looking too good for Corsar. These and boat is doing work. It's a fairy. But nope. Archer puts a stop on that. So Mew takes um, round one. Let's go to match. Round two is going to take place on map 88, Zenith River. Pretty powerful spells to me. Right off the bat. Despite this, this being a large map. Is this a large map? You might want to think about this being classified as a good map just because of the way the units are positioned. So yeah, Corsair is getting wrecked. That paladin can't stand alone. Ouch. Ouch. So yeah, Mew um, takes that, take takes the win, GG. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna shut off the stream now cause like, um, I finished all the matches and yeah I need to go to bed because it's almost like two o'clock <laughs> I do have class tomorrow at like um, 11:30, so I didn't need to get get to bed it was nice anyone who stuck around for the whole time thank you Anyone who had to leave, um, thanks for watching this when you do. Um, anyone who stuck around, what a jump in in the middle of it. Thanks for sticking sticking around. Yeah. Good night, everyone. <laughs>